everybody, we're back for day two. We've got the crane set up, ready to go on this thing. We're maybe halfway brushed out, or at least, at least getting close. We've got another beautiful sunny day, which is nice. We had a lot of rain this winter. And here it is, just like it was the day before. Um, if I release these videos in parts, just know that it's not because I'm, uh, it's, it's not necessarily because I'm trying to get you to like keep clicking my videos or anything. Um, some of this stuff, it, it, just, it takes a long time to edit, so it's like I can release one part and it's out sooner, or I can wait and, you know, edit the whole thing and then the video's longer and then you might have to wait, you know, a, a lot longer for the video. So I think maybe on multiple day projects, it might be better if I just do multiple videos, that way I can, uh, you know, because it takes a lot of time to edit. I can kind of pump them out faster. So I think I'll I think I'll probably go with that format. So anyways, there's the crane. Super beautiful house. And yeah, we're just we're just gonna keep willing away at this guy. So me or Scott, not sure which, we're just gonna go up. We're just gonna try to get this bucket truck out of the way. There's not a lot of room on the street, so we're gonna try just scooting it in here and hopefully it'll be out of the way. The the tree is like twice as tall as the bucket truck. So we're not even close to the top with with the lift. So that's 76 feet tall, and the, the tree's way taller than that. Luckily they're redoing this stuff up here. We can drive on the grass, and it's actually a pretty, pretty easy job in that regard. I'm happy with this. Cool. Do you want to go up or stay down? Look at it. Huh? This glorious drop zone. Yeah. This is nice. Even though we're working over our truck, which I don't really care for that, but. Yeah, well, the, the parking's we've, bad. Uh, we're skilled. Yeah. We can make it happen just fine. But first, find me a, a chip drop, please. You never set up a chip drop? No. Saw they wanted too much information. <laughs> What do you get for it, Brian? You get for like 12 grand. Alright, Brian. I'm ready. Yep. Let's go. Man, it's such a beautiful house. It's crazy they can like really see the water through their windows, you know? Man, what a what a day. It's just gorgeous out there. All right, man. There's a lot, of, a lot of tree left. Oh, Brian, I'll start on the right side to try to open up the drop zone a little bit better. It's kind of awkward being so close. I honestly can't even tell the structure from this angle. It looks all the same. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure where you should go. Yeah, keep going that way. Keep going, keep going. Hang out for a second, Brian. Go ahead and cable down. Hold on. Sec. I'm gonna cut one and it's gonna fall. It's gonna be little, okay? It might. Okay, it ain't. Okay. Cable down. Once you get the first few picks out, Brian, I think this is gonna open up nicely. Okay, this one's gonna be pretty small pick, but it's just cause it's the structure. It's not my fault. Okay. All right, Brian, cinch that up. I'm gonna cut a branch, just let it fall.
Rück, rück. Dude, it's like standing on a small tree up here. I'm <laughs> just on this standing on this branch. Okay, ready? <laughs> this is only gonna weigh a few hundred pounds. Okay, Brian, cable up. Cable up. Jeez. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh, we're skilled. Yeah. We can make it happen just fine. Well, I'm gonna have to edit that out. Well, it's gonna happen less and less. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. As the tree gets smaller, I will be dropping less material on the bucket truck. I can't even see the ball, Brian. I have no idea where you are. Just cable down and we'll see where the ball is. Brian was trying to cable down through the canopy and the slings were just grabbing everything. So he took the slings off. He's going to shoot the ball straight down, put the slings on, and then come back up. All right. So now just, just shoot straight to the ground, Brian. I'll grab the slings. We're all spooled up, looking good. Cable up. Oh my god, okay. Okay, good. Hold on, hold on. Okay, Brian, cable up. Let's go back and try to go to the top. Oh wow, actually quite a quite a bit of broken crap up here sorts of broken stuff and hangers. Okay, cinch it up. I don't even know what Cinco de Mayo is supposed to be in celebration of. You basically swooped it up like a broom. That was, that hanger was not in the branch when I cut it, but you like sweeped it away. The next one will be pretty long and luscious. What we're about? almost, we're getting to that all time high, man. I'm so excited. It's all about the doge. I wonder how my dogecoin's doing. <laughs> I, I, how's your dogecoin doing? I think it went to 65 I'm cents. Gonna go take my doge for a walk. Take your doge for a walk. <laughs> well, that's all you want, boys. I've made uh, $8 on dogecoin. Boom, damn. You've made $8 on the doge? I bought $200 worth and uh, I've got $208. So, what do you think I should do with my uh, $8? Buy Bitcoin. <laughs> Buy Bitcoin. <laughs> here, huh? It's just really awkward with all these limbs trying to fish the, the crane here. It would have been nice to clear the stuff with the bucket, but this is taller than the bucket truck, so that wasn't really happening. So we're kind of in an awkward phase in the morning. Once we get this area clear, because our drop zone's right here, and you know Brian's got a lot of stuff interfering right there. Once we get this stuff clear, this stuff will be a lot easier because we'll have a big open area to work with. But sometimes at the at the beginning of the crane removal, it's kind of awkward trying to figure out which puzzle piece to, to take out first. But we're we're close. We're gonna, we're doing fine. And we've got a ton of weight capacity we can lift, but. You know, the branch structures, you know, you, you got to like selectively start removing them. But if you just try to take a giant chunk out, you'll break all sorts of stuff. So I'll get a few selective limbs out. Bada bing, bada boom. It's going to be great. We'll do some really big picks a little later. What's worse for you right now? Should I clear the drop zone first or should I clear your turret first? All right. Boom, right? Okay, cinch it up. Okay, Brian, you ready? This probably weighs 500 pounds. Cable up. Okay, hold it. Cable up. 
when I get below this thing. Ooh, almost there. There we go. All right, take it away. All right, cable down. Cable up. Okay. Hold it. Another. Oh, there's a fat hanger right here. It's kind of messy up here. Alright, hopefully, this will contain this one. Okay, Brian, go ahead and put 500 pounds on that or so. This should be a pretty good one. Yeah, me. Cable up, Brian, a little bit. All right, it's all you. Yep. Look at that. Sweet. Got a decent pick. Yeah, boom, right? Oh. Don't stand under this, guys. Wait, I'm standing under it. <laughs> I think there's some hangers in there, Scott. Just letting you know. Yeah, a lot of hangers. You gotta remember the five Ds. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, dodge. <laughs> Maybe die. We're just trying to turn this thing around. Yep, that's all. Cabling down. Cable all the way down, Brian. Okay, good. Cable up in. Okay, good. Yep. Yep. That's a shelf cut, see? It's just resting right on there. Go ahead, Brian, take her away. She's gonna lift right up and off. Cool cut. All right.
hangers. This tree is dangerous. Ugh. Ugh. I like the brickwork on this house. It's just, I like how they have like the red brick in there. Uh -huh. Kind of just nice little pattern. All right, Brian. You're on. Brian, after they disconnect and everything, will you just extend so I can look at that bracket? Probably shouldn't go anywhere for now, but we'll want to. Yeah, it's just the thing that keeps the cable from pulling off the side. You'll see it's it's in one spot now. It's not going to go anywhere as long as you don't snag any branches. We can fix that permanently later. It's just to protect the cable from snagging stuff. Okay, you want to just uh, come grab me? The stuff the stuff that's right above me is the stuff slowing us down the most, in my opinion. I mean, it's really all in our way. Everything's yeah, in the way. Yeah, this whole tree. All trees are in our way. <laughs> Maybe when uh, this right side's cleared out, we can do some bucket camera work. We have a drone. Fine. <laughs> I mean, I like your enthusiasm. I, I like your creativity. I'm just saying, some people don't know how to use the drone. You don't know how to use the drone? I can show you how to use the drone at lunch. Brian, you put me wherever you want and I'll cut it. Here he goes again. Put me wherever you want and I'll cut it. Yeah, this one will probably be 1,500 pounds or so. Maybe two grand. I don't know. All right, yep. It's all you. All you, buddy. Do you think this is gonna fill us up? I'm just wondering if I should come down or stay up here. It's gonna fill us up. I just don't see any point of hanging out so that 10 minutes later you can be like, all right, we're full, you can come down now. Like, I'll just come down if we're gonna fill up. Okay. Looks like that big fatty's gonna fill us up, so I'm just gonna buzz down to the ground right now, and then we're gonna dump, and then keep going. Lunch. So Scott is working on, I think, his fourth attempt at dropping chips in somebody's yard. 
We use this, there's a cool app called Chip Drop that you, you might be interested in getting. It's a it's an it's a website that you can register your house if you're looking for arborist chips. Then tree guys around the area can see that you want some and they'll deliver it to your house for you know mulch or, or fill or whatever. But anyways, we use this thing called Chip Drop and in Seattle it's like terrible driveways and stuff. So now he's like at his fourth house trying to get rid of the chips. So he's not back yet. But I'm gonna go up in the bucket actually and start picking some of this wood. And uh, well, I'll be able to pick quite a bit from the bucket now. So we're gonna do some of that and then hopefully he'll be back someday. <laughs> Thanks for setting that up. Uh, so that's it, huh? Yeah, yeah. It looks pretty cool. And the goggles. It's really yeah. small. I know, yeah. It's really fast. I think it goes oh, really? 60 miles an hour. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> and nuts. it can do like barrel rolls and stuff like that. It's, it's wild. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I've seen some of that like the... Because yeah, like this style. one's good because it's stable, but yeah, you can't turn it right. sideways. Yeah. Uh, Scotty again. Hello? What was wrong with that one? No room, okay. Well, where are you right now? Are you close to 520? Maybe you should just freaking go to 520 then. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm gonna pick some wood. So, I, you probably got like a half hour, 40 minutes before I even do a brush again. Alright, man. I'll see ya. That's the fourth place he's tried. It's no good. There's no room. So he's just gonna drive all the way across the water back to Bellevue to try to dump the chips. That's crazy. Yeah, just two quantum X slings. Well, because some of them are horizontal, Brian. It's actually, it's usually actually pretty good in Seattle. Yeah, well, yeah, it's usually better than that. Well, I guess we can start over here if you want, or we can start wherever you want, Brian. You just keep your stick out of my stick's way. I don't have to <laughs> knock you over. I have finally found one pro to the half wrap handle. You can get it. It saves a lot of room in the bucket. Putting it flush against the wall like that, a four wrap handle thing like sticks out like that. But this is actually pretty good. One, two, three, cable down. Nice, perfect. Okay, let's see if I can pick this leader. Maybe we can just stage this one leader, you know? I could stage it in the chipper. Well, we don't want to use the winch while it's disconnected. Right, we could just lay it down though. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Jory just looks like he's like meditating or something over there. He's over by the trash cans, just cross-legged and everything. Should I get up on him? You think he'll notice me sneaking up on him? Dude, he's sneak up on the, the wild drone pilot. <laughs> I think you can see me from the air. I'm just gonna have to make this work. This one might be a little tippy, but you got like so much chart in pairs. Okay, Brian, you're on. It's gonna be a long one.
Like, I feel like Jory's like in the Matrix right now. Like, what if I came up to him and like, like what if he died with like the drone still? <laughs> Would you still be able to live in the Matrix? All right, Brian, cinch it up. My husky neck. Can I pull your uh can I pull, <laughs> pull your napkins out? Can I pull your napkins out? I need that for boogers since you like to tattle on me when I wipe them on Scott's truck. Well you know, I was like I, I couldn't I felt like there was an obligation. Why? He would have never known. You see something, you say something, Jake. One booger on his bumper. And he would never have known if you hadn't said anything. You were probably that kid that was always tattletailing. I, I was the kid that would wipe my boogers everywhere. <laughs> and, and you were the kid that would tattletail. It's only in my nature. You couldn't just see it happen and you weren't like, you know what, Jake's my bro. I'm gonna do him a solid. I'm not gonna mention it to Scott. We are a team. We're a team. We all need to be on the same page. If you're wiping boogers on the truck, I feel like I feel like we all need to know about it. Dude, I get sawdust in my nose and I get lots of boogers. I mean I do too, but but where do you put your boogers? In an undisclosed location. Yeah, yeah. You're probably wiping them on the underside of the seat when you're driving the bucket. Hey man, don't look under that seat. Don't look under that seat. <laughs> <laughs> I was really sad about your last video and me starting this saw. I'm gonna try not to embarrass myself. I really embarrassed myself last time I tried starting this saw. That's not, that is inoperable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. A little irrigation ditch right there. <laughs> it barely tapped the dirt. <laughs> barely tapped, you're gonna try to convince me? I saw it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not starting any more of your saws. I think that saw was dull before I started it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd say too. <laughs> The best part too was how long it good how long it took you to <laughs> figure out how to get the dirt geyser to shut off. <laughs> the dirt geyser? It was it touched the ground for like a half a second. But the chain is spinning fast, dude. You got a lot of rotations in half a second. Okay, Brian, cinch it up.
least you had your own saw to let me borrow. Yeah, you can run this through the dirt if you want. Full disclosure, I've been using your chains. I've been like taking your chains out of your chain box and using them. I need to go through all my chains. That's why you don't have any chains. Thanks. <laughs> You're gonna have to extend quite a bit. You extend. I I need. I can't do it midline with this one. I need to do it at the end. I think. I guess I technically could. Okay, that's good. Um. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I'll have to try to do. This is fine. You just. No. 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 It's fine. Just stay. I can just. I think. I, I can half hitch this. do two half inches to try to take the slack out of this thing. Okay, all right. Go ahead, Brian. It's probably gonna weigh 300 pounds, 400 pounds. But put like a thousand on it just to get all the stretch out of the sling. Go ahead. the dump <laughs> we should bring another chip truck tomorrow if we can
pretty good, pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah, it was loud, loud. But no, it, it was actually really smooth though. chain I've ever dulled. You hit a rock, didn't you? Dude, he hit several. Holy crap! <laughs> and it's dope. The irrigation ditch. <laughs> he said was I trying to trench the uh it's the husky. It's got like a 70 inch bar on it. I'm trying to hold, you know. It wasn't a rooster tail. I mean what call it whatever you want. <laughs> it's dull. I knew I should not have started that saw. That was my first mistake. Like I really, I was gonna let you start it. I didn't want anything to do with it. Okay, 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 this is not... Don't, you're really blaming me, this, you're really grasping for straws here. But Jake shouldn't have even used that, so. Scott, Scott was on my side with this. See, see, see what I'm saying? I've got this saw with me. I got a 20 inch bar and then I got one with a 42 inch bar, okay? So I'd rather be long than short. We have options too. We, we have a, we have saws. You say I'm grasping at straws, but Scott's over here defending me. No, 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 no. We were, blam we were blaming the right person and everything was going fine. And then you tried to turn it on me. It's like you were asking for it. You were asking for me to do your saw. Oh my goodness. This is victim blaming. That's victim blaming. Oh, you shouldn't have been wearing that. <laughs> I knew I knew I was in trouble as soon as you said, Kevin, grab my husky. I, already, I knew it was, uh, I was being set up for failure immediately. I didn't even ask you to start it. You didn't say, no, no, don't start it. Next time I will. That bar is way too small. What do you mean? What, do, what do you mean too small for that wood? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. It cuts wood down to one inch if I want it to. I can cut a, I can cut a leaf with that if I want to. Ooh, my saw was too big for this wood. Look at this. Look at that. How is this my fault? He digs a trench in the yard with my, with my 42 inch bar and suddenly everybody's attacking the colorblind guy. This doesn't have anything to do with you being colorblind. Oh yeah, right. What is the size of a bar affected by your colorblindness? This is about color, is it? <laughs> because we can see color and you can't? All right, guys. I'm sorry that I had Kevin Dole my saw. That's better, Jake. Finally taking a little responsibility. I hope, I hope you can forgive me, Kevin. I do, I do. I mean, immediately, that's how forgiving I am. <laughs> it's so gracious. So you're saying he uses big saws as a, dis for a, small ankle. a distraction from his small ankles <laughs> in hopes that nobody will notice his, his dainty ankles. <laughs> We're still talking about this, huh? How is it? that Kevin dolls my saw, and I gotta hear about my dainty ankles. <laughs> no, I'm the victim. I'm the victim. Not Kevin. You're the victim. I would say whoever happens to pass the shop in that chain. 
<laughs> That'd be Jed. Jed. Jed is the victim. Okay, go ahead, Brian. Do you have any tension on that? It's all flat, flaccid. Flaccid. <laughs> you know, there are other uses for the word flaccid. <laughs> Perfect utility. <laughs> so that's it for day number two. So crane stand, bucket truck stand. We're probably three quarters of the way brushed out, but we should be able to, the drop zone's big. The boom is mostly cleared. We should be able to just power through the rest of the brush pretty fast tomorrow, I think. Here's our log deck developing. These are just branches, man. Yeah, there is a lot of tree left. Holy smokes. Man, what a what a stout tree. This is gonna take me forever to edit. This is gonna be like this, hey, is, gonna, this, this is gonna be like a whole season. Good job, Jake. <laughs> like, you did this tree. Good job, Jake. Oh, thanks. Good work today. You guys did I good said too. it first. You know, <laughs> worked that bucket. You ever like say <laughs> thank you, but you only say it because the guy next to you remembered to say it first, and then it's like. You ever say thank you just because the camera's rolling? No, I don't well, think so. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, you're like eating dinner and somebody's like, oh, this is good. And then you, you know, you're like, you're like oh, yeah, it, it is good. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what to say if I not cut, if I don't I cuss. mean, <laughs> wee, wee. <laughs> you won't even have to find a sound effect. You could just use my chainsaw. <laughs> it's true, dude. I have no nice. idea what to say if I'm not cussing. <laughs> Cut that clip over to. Uh, All right. Well, that's it. Yeah. Sorry about your song. Everybody did good. Sorry about your song. Dude. Sorry about your change. Dude. Sorry, Jed. <laughs> sorry. And more importantly, sorry, Jed. Yeah. Hey, He's Tell Brian he did a good job. Good job, Brian. He's hiding over here. There he good is. job, Brian. <laughs> Put a chainsaw right. right there. <laughs> All right. See ya. See ya. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>